If you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Madden Academy. This one, we're talking about the glitchiest, most best, explosive, amazing offense in the game. And you guessed it. It's the same offense I was running last week. Now, I got to tell you the reason why I'm making this video saying that the patch made my offense the best offense in the game is because, A, I already loved my offense. I was very happy. But if you guys didn't know and didn't run this offense, delay fades have not worked in U trips all year. And delay fades obviously have been the most overpowered thing in Madden 22. And so I've been operating out of this offense with no delay fades the entire year. I have just been at a big disadvantage. And then they just recently patched delay fades. So now nobody gets delay fades. So basically what happened is everybody else's offense got nerfed to the ground. My offense stayed exactly the same. Nothing has changed in my offense since the patch. And because of that, I think this patch has made my offense that much better. So I've been very happy with how everything's gone. That being said, I feel like every time EA releases a patch, they screw up the game in general. Like the servers start sucking. You start disconnecting more. There's more lags, desyncs. Your audibles start glitching out more. It's just how EA works. And so if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know what Madden Academy is, basically I hop into some games of Madden. I talk you guys through everything that's going on in my head. So hopefully you guys can learn and emulate that in your own game and get better yourself. Now, of course, as always, before we get into the gameplay, we got to go over the best and the worst comment of the day. The worst comment of the day coming from Jackson Hunter, who said, I would love to pay for that bathwater after all that sweating, sir. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? DM me on Twitter. And the best comment of the day coming from Ethan Yanez, who said, Maze makes playing Madden look so easy in his videos. It always makes me think that when I play Madden, I'll do just as good as he does in Weekend League just to finish 13 and 12 every week. Well, thank you for the comment, Ethan. I'm sorry you're struggling, but I got to let you and anyone else watching know, if you guys want to play Madden and play just like me, I broke down my entire offensive scheme over at mazomatic.com. You guys can purchase the ebook and learn how to run my offense exactly the way I do. I go over every route setup, every detail, and everything I know in regards to my offense to help you guys succeed and take your game to the next level. Additionally, I'm going to be making a defensive ebook this week, so there will be a defensive ebook as well as my offensive one over at mazomatic.com. So if you guys are interested in getting better at the game, go check that out over at mazomatic.com. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So here's our team, boys. Honestly, I'm not super stoked about anything in regards to my abilities or my team. I'm going to talk about what I'm using, why I'm using it, but as you guys can see, I got 7 AP on my O-line, and that's just because I really don't know what to do with all my AP. I got two post-ups, which help in the pass game and the run game. And kind of something I'm testing out is using natural talent on my tackles and center. What natural talent does, as I'll show you on Rodney Hudson right here, it starts the game with blocker resistance. So it's not a huge deal, and I'm not sure how to test it because it's just kind of like a feeling thing. But, I mean, I assume it makes your guys better. I'm not sure if it helps in the run game or not. I'm just testing it out, though. And so far, I feel like my O-line has been doing a solid job. They don't do as good as good of a job as I would like, though, for 7 AP. So I'm not sure with my O-line abilities. I, again, I'm still kind of in the testing phase of this. I got short and elite on Darren Waller. Short and elite is still maybe my favorite ability on offense. It, it's glitched. It works on everything. And against man coverage, a, a route like an out route is going to win a majority of the time. But when Darren Waller has short and elite, he's going to win on that out route 100% of the time. So I'm never afraid throwing that against a blitz if it's man coverage. And I see Darren Waller. That, that's just an ability that I love. And then Dan Marino, I got past lead elite and hot route master. I wasn't sure what else to really put on him. But um, I don't have any other abilities on my, on my receivers. I was thinking about using route tech at my slot. But then I just wasn't noticing that big of a difference. So I'm like, why not just add on some more O-line abilities? Because for that, at least, you know, I mean, peace of mind, you know, you're not going to get shed. But like I was saying, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm just kind of testing it out right now. But it is peace of mind for me. On defense, I'm running a lot of the same. Acrobats all over the field and then mid zone KO as well on Jesse Bates, Charles Woodson, and Ed Reed. Mid zone KO in the past has been glitched where it works on every zone no matter what. Lately, it's like they tried to patch it, but they didn't do a good enough job because it still activates on like random zones, but it's not 100% anymore. I still think it's worth it. I have a uh, mid zone KO on my top two deep zones and a cover two. I, it just gives me again, a little peace of mind knowing that they're gonna hopefully react quicker than they would without it. And then Warren Sapp with inside stuff. I feel like inside stuff is one of the best abilities you can use this year just because of how cheap it is. It's one AP and I only have one inside stuff because Aaron Donald, it costs two AP on him. But if I had another guy who got it for one AP, uh, I don't even have Jack Youngblood, Youngblood on my field, but I might think about trying to put on a second inside stuff somewhere because having two 
is better than one, baby. And then, of course, we got the 50-50 Raiders theme team. Our playbooks have not changed. We still got uh, Patriots offense and Bears defense. This strategy card doesn't work anymore. But um, final thing, we're playing at the Lions Stadium. Not the Raiders Stadium. I got kind of sick of playing at the Raiders Stadium every single game because everybody has a Raiders theme team. So I'm like, you know what? Let's rock the Lions Stadium, man. Let's do it. I got VC Boy, a good guy to play for a video. No lie. This guy... Uh, he plays Madden year in, year out. He's top 100 year in, year out. Obviously plays 2K as well because he's got VC, boy. This is a good opponent, though. The first thing I'm looking at is personnel because uh, you can see that, obviously, on the defensive side of the ball. And he's only got one tight end, one running back. So we are going to run big dime. And if he does try to uh, change his personnel, we're going to notice that. So first thing that most people do when they see big dimes is try to run the ball. So I'm going to bring my safeties down. Uh, he's motioning a guy over. I assume I thought it was going to be to help with blocking, but it looks like it's not. I don't even think he can block seven out of this formation. Okay, he can. First, I didn't think he was going to be able to block. Oh, he can't delay fade either. All right, man. They just spazzed out for no reason. So not only did he not run the ball in his first play, but he also did not change his personnel going in X. So I think he's fine going against Big Dime. I'm okay with it also. I love, love playing in Big Dime. The problem is with my big dime is... Oh, he's going cover three bombs all day. I didn't even notice that. Okay. This guy's going cover three bombs. Holy shit, Moss got ran down. Don't know how. But uh, I was going to say, the one thing I don't like about big dime is I only run cover three out of it. And if you do have cover three bombs, you know, I, I think the best cover this year is probably cover two. At least that's what I've had most success in. I'm assuming he's going to run the ball here. Inside stuff didn't do anything. Still got the stop, though. Down to the one. Uh, I'm gonna get out of this defense i don't think uh two four five odd is good against the run i gotta get in three three five wide what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna audible from two four five odd to three three five wide he's in goal line so actually i probably shouldn't be in either of these i should probably be in goal line i'm actually gonna call a timeout it's worth burning a timeout in the first half if uh if you think it could help you like i don't know what the fuck i was gonna say there but i could potentially get a stop here so i think uh it's worth burning the timeout second goal if i get a stop here gets put in a third and goal Nice little dive from him. We do get the stop. Now he's in third and goal. He might want to think about passing because we've stopped him twice now on the goal line. He's still in goal line normal. I am going to pinch my line. I'm going to get on Perryman. No, I'm going to get on Jack Tatum. And I'm expecting a pass here. I'm actually going to pass commit because for some reason I think he's going to... Yep, 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 yep. Get off, get off, get off. I called it. Beautiful. Jack Tatum, this is a power up. This is not the full Jack Tatum. So he's got like 80 speed. Um, he should get ran down right here by Waller. Fully expecting him to get ran down. I don't know why he's not clicking on. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, great way to start the game. Turns out calling that timeout was worth it. I, I almost let him score on the goal line there, but I am very glad we ended up calling that timeout. I got to say on that last drive, uh, I normally would have gone for two coming out. I just forgot. I tend to forget a lot to go for two. I'm just not used to it yet because that's a strategy I've kind of developed over the last, you know, week or two. And so this whole year, and honestly, not even just this year, my whole Madden career, I've never been a guy who likes to go for two but this year with how important the clock is and you know a lot of times oh, i almost gave up another cover three bomb but a lot of times with uh clock management being the deciding factor in a lot of games if you get one or two points up on your opponent over the course of the game that clock plays such a smaller role now this time i deep halved we end up still getting pressure you can tell this guy's gonna quit out probably in uh in a play or two if he doesn't get another big play but he's just going for bombs now we're getting sacks, and if we get another stop, I think this won't probably be GG's. But as I was saying, going for two, I think this year is is uh, a big X factor in terms of winning games because I can't tell you how many games I've lost to guys who I just don't feel are better than me, but they just happen to have you know the clock on their side or they got one turnover or something like that. And again, when you have one or two points up on your opponent, the clock plays a significantly smaller role. So. Third and long, we got the stop. Fourth and 25 here. Like I said, the fact that he's going from this from his own nine, um, I do think. And I'm playing the sticks right here. If you guys didn't know, when you play sticks, it's triangle, L1. It sets your zone drops. What's, what's going on? My user, what is my user doing? I couldn't control my user on that play. I don't know why. But when you play the sticks, it sets your zone drops to whatever the down and distance is. So on that play, it was third and 25. Or fourth and 25, I, I played the sticks. My zone drops automatically get set to 25 yards. Even though they were set on default, that's just how you can kind of switch up your zone drops in the middle of a play. PDA Piper. PDA Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many PDA Pipers did pickled pepper pooper peeper? 
right, boys. So we are starting on the offensive side of the ball. It's only fitting because this is an offensive video. Now, I do like starting on defense a lot more because I feel like uh, I can adjust the way I play offense based on how our first defensive drive goes. Oh, my God. Hey. So we'll be starting off on defense this game, boys. And uh, I got to say, it would not be a Mazomatic video unless... Unless I threw Stevie to start the game, okay? And I, I kind of been thinking about it a lot because, oh my God. Jesus Christ. Dude, I, I, I saw that with my user. I just feel like I wasn't fast enough, man. T.Y. Hilton with the touchdown. But I feel like I've been thinking a lot about why do I always throw picks on my first drive? It's literally at this point just a guaranteed thing. I will throw an interception on my first drive. And it's because if I get blitzed or if I get block shedded for some reason... In the beginning of the game, I'm so afraid of taking a sack. Like, I, I will I will throw something completely covered before I take a sack. And I don't know why my brain works that way. But then after I throw my first interception, I start getting extremely careful because I don't want to throw another pick. And then that's why I don't throw more throughout the game because then I start being okay with taking sacks. And it's like, dude, just take a sack from the start of the game. So, it is a Madden Academy video. Even though you guys might have just watched me throw probably the worst read in the world. Maybe you learned that some, something for your own game take a sack it's okay it's better than throwing a pick this guy's running some crazy blitz though so i am gonna be prepared for that fully it looks like he's operating in a cover two shell sending a blitz from hell yes dogs to fire what even is that doesn't matter though uh we're gonna we're gonna dot it okay because a lot of times when people have some weird blitz like this that you never heard of Probably not that good. Okay, so even though he's sending like nine guys, it might feel intimidating. Might might fluster me from the start, but it's probably not that good. I'm gonna max protect here. We picked it up. And of course, what even zone was that? Did he have no deep zone? Did he have no deep zone on the right? Or I'm trying to figure out why the safety ran with my streak. I'm gonna run like this. This is what I'm doing. And we are not max protecting this time. We are sending five out. We're gonna make a quick read. Okay, maybe this blitz is is the best blitz in the world, okay? I, I I tried to just quick throw it to my tight end, but I was sacked before I could even blink. I'm going to block my tight end. Motion him over. Block my running back. This is what our player looks like. Please pick up this blitz. Thank you. Thank you. All right, fourth and manageable. We can do this. All right, it seems like we're getting shit on because we kind of are. But we can do this, all right? The game is definitely not over. Um, And... The fact that he's blitzing so many, there's no way he's ready for a running back wheel out of the backfield. So that's where my first read is. I can almost guarantee you that's where I'm going to throw it. And other than that, let's see how much time I get. We still almost didn't even get that off, dude. That guy on the end is coming in so fast. We got the first down, so, so we got a, a breath of fresh air here. But that guy on the left side is coming in so fast. I'm motioning over the wrong guy. Awesome. Let's see if I can get some time here. Screw it. This is our play art. No, nope, we couldn't get time. <laughs> That's fine. At least it was a first down. And Lawrence Taylor with three sacks already. This has given us some problems. But what I do want to point out to you guys is, even though uh, we are getting shit on this early, this guy's showing all his cards. He's running the same same thing every time. Um, and we're staying alive while we figure him out. That's really the name of the game right here. Stay alive while he runs his crazy aggressive blitz. Start to find the weakness in it. And this guy's not looking like he can adjust too well out of it. So... Uh, I'm not I'm not worried about this long term. It's third and seven here. We're gonna get another first down most likely. And then at that point, again, another first down, another fresh set of downs. And like I said, he's showing all his cards on the table. Oh, oh I can't even throw a streak. I had a wide open streak for a touchdown. I couldn't even throw it. Fourth down here. We gotta convert this. This is a must convert down right here. And uh this edge rush is coming in fast, man. All right, first read should be the running back here. Thank God I had time for my second read, bro. Almost got him spun out of his socks, but first read was a running back. I saw his user fly to that side. Next read was the left side of the field. He uh, manned up the streak on the outside, so the flat was wide open. I had a zig right there, and I still almost got sacked. This blitz is coming in extremely fast, so I got to give this guy props, even though I've never really heard of this blitz. Um, this is a super, super uh, aggressive blitz that I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to pick up. And uh, it, it, it's, again, putting a lot of pressure on me to make quick reads, which a lot of times is going to result in me throwing picks. So High pass inaccurate. I, you know, I, I don't know if that 
had a chance of being picked off. I know he's probably got Lurker on Ted Hendricks. Let me find out right now. Yeah, he's got Lurker on Ted Hendricks. So I got to be careful throwing that, actually. I'm actually going to look at the right side of the field first. Yeah, there we go. He's playing so aggressively, bro. He had, like, a hard flat, a hook, no deep zone. And, like, thankfully, we, we were able to diagnose that fast enough. But we're, we're going to go for two. Um, but as you guys can see, that was an ugly, ugly, ugly drive. But we still scored. We still got through there. We, we played it smart. And, and again, his cards are on the table. We know his defense. We know exactly what he wants to do here. <laughs> we can't even throw. Like, bro, I know I sent five out. I knew he was going to blitz. I was trying to throw it quick. Like, literally, hike it, throw it, basically. This is a fast blitz. This is a very fast blitz. So we gave him the ball last drive. Uh, pretty close to our scoring range. So I don't really think he showed me much on offense. I actually ran a hard flat on that left side. There's going to be corner out wide open. That's not it. That's not it. That's not what I thought he was going to throw. The corner out was open. Um, but he didn't show me much on his last drive. I actually feel like I had him bagged. I just had a really bad user, which is my fault, obviously. My fault, obviously. I keep putting him in a hard flat. I want him in a soft spot. There we go. Got him in a soft spot now. And again, I got to be quicker with my user over here because if I try to lurk underneath it too much, that's when I end up getting outran. And that's what happened last time. So as long as I'm on point with my user, um, I think we'll be okay here. I'm actually going to blitz the house at him. Good dot. Quick dot. But third and 23, I'm going to give that up every time. That's what I wanted to happen because uh, that's a fourth and very long. And obviously, how this guy's been playing, he's definitely going to go for it. He's definitely going to go for it. And again, I'm going to be quick with this user right here. Cross the field here. You got to be there, Ed. You got to be... I didn't want that picked off. I really didn't. But that's okay. I'm going to spin... Oh, T.Y. Bro, T.Y.'s making plays out here. He's quick. He's quicker than a snicker. Is that a thing? I know thicker than a snicker. Like when we're talking about like BBWs of, uh, of sorts. You know, some of them are thicker than a snicker. T.Y. Hilton, in this case, is quicker than a snicker. Okay, I'm just going to stop talking. Let's go, man. We're blocking seven here. I've noticed when I block seven, I at least get a couple seconds. And so, is he really just... Dude, this has got to be the most aggressive player I've ever seen. No wonder, bro. No wonder that I was having trouble throwing underneath. He's sending everybody underneath. We got another touchdown. I'm going for two again. This time, we maybe... I'm going to block some extra guys. So, we know this guy is for sure going to be blitzing the house. We're blocking the house again. Looking for either the drag... There we go. The drag somehow got caught in the back of the end zone, but we got our two-point conversions. So now we're up a full touchdown, and that's why my philosophy on going for two is at the beginning of the game, I'm always going for two because if I don't get it the first time, I could get it the second time, and just like that. It's like we never messed up, right? But if we did get it the first time, now we actually have a big advantage because there's a lot of pressure on him to erase that one-point lead, and if he's not prepared to do that, that's kind of when we start to... Oh, you're kidding me. That's when we start to take off on him. But as I was telling you guys, I mean, again, the beginning of the game was extremely ugly. But as you guys can tell, he's been running the same, pretty much the same thing every time. We've we've done a good job of diagnosing what it is, even though it might have taken us a long time to do so. I'm going to man him up on R1, actually. Even though it took us a long time to do so, I feel like now that we've done it, you know, again, we are kind of the ones. Okay, let me get down there. Great fucking defense. That's all me. Now another stop. I'm not worried about his defense now. We got another stop. We have a, a touchdown lead. We started the game with a pick. And uh, and now I feel like we're in the driver's seat. Okay? So even though it looked ugly at first, we played in a way that was going to give us an advantage later on. We just stayed alive while we figured out. That was the goal. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. And now we're more than alive, baby. Now we're more than alive. I'm... He's getting in there before I can even throw a quick wheel route, dude. Now, I got to say, I don't think his, what he's doing right here, where he's just blitzing the house every single time, I don't think that's good. But throwing this in there, no way. <laughs> Bro, throwing this in there every now and then, you, you have to make a read, like, within a second of hiking the ball, or else you're going to get sacked. Give me the first, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with another fourth down with this blitz. I don't want to deal with another fourth down. I'm gonna. I haven't tested this blitz against the run. Uh, I have a lot of O line abilities, so I, I spent seven AP on my O line. He's got no D line abilities, really. I mean, he's got under pressure, and he's got lurker on Ted Hendricks. But I think we get. A, I think we get a yard here. Yeah, we got the push. We got a yard. So now that I know that he, he doesn't have gap shoots, he doesn't have good run D out of this, and I think I can honestly probably just run inside zone over and over and over again. Do I want to do that? No. 
Will this maybe make him think twice about his defense? Hopefully. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of space in there, man, because they're all so clustered together. My old line, if they get a good push, it just becomes like a wall. I probably should have tested the run a little bit earlier, but he has not done a good job of stopping the run here. I think a power right here would even be a better move. Good, good user by him. Okay, so he might be able to shoot the run. I'm going to try a power on third and two. I should have been on conservative because he slid his line far to the right. So you see there's a, there's a big hole to the left there. And if we can get up in that hole, yeah, it was, that guy from the backside got us. But that, that actually looked really nice. I'm going to get back in new trips here. Let's try this. Let's try this. There we go. There we go. Uh, back with me. I'm fine with that. Even if I, uh, the reason I did that, even if I don't take off any time off the clock and I give him 47 seconds with no timeouts, you're not going to score a touchdown in 47 seconds with no timeouts unless I blow a coverage. But going down at the one, again, seeing how my run game's been against his defense, I know he's not going to switch his defense. I like that hole to the left right there. I think I get in. I made him waste one timeout. So even though that wasn't perfect with the clock management, I made him waste a timeout. I, uh, I, I, I got in still, so no harm, no foul. And he lost a timeout. It was a slight baby W. You know, a little baby W. Not a big dub, but baby dub. So like I said, 45 seconds, two timeouts. Having two timeouts is decent. Um, he definitely could potentially score here, but I would have to give up some pretty big plays. I'm looking at Moss right here. It looked like, I don't know if I trust Charles Woodson on Moss over there. Because what I like to do against Bunch, one of my biggest philosophies against Bunch, is I love manning up the solo receiver. Charles Woodson, when he was like the best corner of the game, was doing was phenomenal for that. But now my corners are a little outdated. I got Mike Haynes and Charles Woodson. Obviously, they're still solid. Shading over the top and inside. But then I'm going to have to adjust some of my other zones. Because if you guys didn't know, when you adjust your shading, it also adjusts all your zones. So if I shade over the top, it changes my soft squat to a cloud flat. And soft squats and cloud flats obviously play very, very differently. <laughs> That's got to be a pick right there, Diablo. But uh, we're playing good defense. This guy, again, two picks. And the only touchdown he has was when I gave him the ball at like the 15 yard line and I made a mistake with my user. So I think this game is pretty much in the bag. I think right here, if anything, he makes a mistake. I don't think there's any chance I give up something crazy. I don't like this. I messed up. I messed up. I'm just going to run a stock cover too, basically with soft squats, man. That's pretty much all we can do right now. The motion messed up a lot of stuff. Throw it to T-Ball. He throws it literally right to me and just gets bailed by a bad throw. Don't know how I didn't get the pick right there. Would have been a pick six. But I told you guys, I don't think we're giving up anything right here. And as I said before, um, he's flipping his play a lot. I think he thinks that's going to give him a big advantage. All I did was uh, wait to adjust till he flipped. So we still made our... our we, got, we got our defense the way we want it. Again, manning up that solo side. I got to watch TY. That was a great dot, honestly. Um, didn't think that would get open against this cover two, but... Was that a wheel route? Did a wheel route get open that fast? That seemed like that was very fast for a wheel route. Usually wheel routes are slow developing, take a long time. I'm going to pass commit. I feel like our pressure hasn't been coming in very well. I don't know if he's blocking extra. Let me watch his blocking right here. And of course, of course, this is fine with me. I'm sending somebody. No. You got to catch that, Mike. I clicked on and everything, buddy. It's okay, though. 19 seconds. Uh, we're up full 14 points. So if we give up three, I'm still up by two possessions going in half. Totally cool with that. Three points here. No big deal to me. I really just don't want to give up. Seven. So I'm going to change my flats to 25 here. Change my curl flats to five. Make him stay inbounds. I'm not going to send heat this time. I'm not going to send any heat. And I think a wheel route gets covered by my blue flat. Just set that to 25. So those flats on the outside should drop pretty much back to the goal line. I got to cover the middle of the field. Good good dot by him, but he's inbounds. Got to waste a timeout. And now if we sack him, he's not going to have time for even three. So there we go. We got the sack. Hey, that's literally what I just said. We got the sack, and he didn't get any points on that drive. So big mistake from him. All he had to do was throw the ball away. Uh, but thankfully, again, we got the sack and walk away from that drive. Even though it was ugly. We got the job done, and now we're up a full 14 points. So normally I'd be in big dime. I don't know, really know why I wasn't calling big dime. I just, against bunch a lot of times, I do like 2-4-5 quite a bit. But we're going to switch over to big dime um, because I feel like my pressure, even though I got a sack there at the end of half, I feel like my pressure hasn't been, like, phenomenal. You know, I, I just feel like I haven't been getting as much pressure as I want. I'm going to see if he tries to run the ball here. I'm going to bring my safety down. He did not try to run the ball. And we're keeping our steam flats on the field. Dude. 
That's why we keep our seam flats on the field. He, he just played an in route from the backside. But seam flats are super, super glitchy. And they're like Trayvon Diggs in Madden. Okay? They're either going to be totally out of position and give up a big play and you're going to be pissed. Or they're going to play like an absolute maniac. Good dot. Jesse Bates, you got to be there, kid. Good job, man. Either they're going to play like a maniac and get an awesome turnover and you're going to love them like we just almost happened right there, or they're going to be totally out of position and you're going to yell at them. But in Madden 22, it's really easy to drive down the field. And so if I'm blitzing heavy like I am right now, I want my seam flats on the field because it's going to make it really hard for my opponent to make a quick read. Because he, Oh, man, I should have kept running. I thought, again, I thought the seam flat was going to cover that. That's why I went to peel back right there. Then the seam flat came underneath and didn't play it. So that's a good example of what I'm talking about. It's hard for me to even predict what my seam flats are going to do sometimes. Don't really know exactly how they play. I'm there with Bates. Try to throw it. No, good good dot. Good dot. I didn't get off. Oh, he was out of bounds. That's big right there. But I didn't get off my safety in time. I know he's motioning in Moss, so Moss will... Uh... Well, you can't throw it to Moss now. He's motioning Moss because he's going for a cover three bomb. Okay, so that's why I'm moving my safety over to the right more. Because my safety stays on the left side. Uh, Moss is going to be wide open. So I'm basically just doing that to help with the cover three bomb. I could deep half on the right side too. I'll just do that. I didn't do it in time. I don't think the deep half got there. He's not going to have time to throw that. Yeah, that's just, I mean, we got to get a pick there sometime, man. I'm going to deep half this time and I'm going to play curl flats. No, I'm going to play, I'm going to play 25 yard flats. I'm going to play 25 yard flats and I'm going to deep half. So he, he, he definitely doesn't have the bomb anymore. I was kind of giving it, giving it to him before because uh, I was blitzing and he was in, you know, Moving Jesse Bates over. This time I'm going to leave Jesse Bates. I'm going to deep half. He's obviously motioning him in, so he's doing that again. And I'm just running with... Yeah. That was a 25-yard flat. How did that get open? How are you not there, Ed Reed? I just realized something, boys. I just realized something. The reason my seam flats were playing underneath and out of position was because I had him set to five yards from the end of half. I didn't realize that. Defense is going to play a lot different right now. Now that I took off my zone drops. That blitz had nothing to do with the zone drops, but the adjustments behind it are going to look different. Like, watch Ed Reed and watch Ronnie Lott. Watch how they play. They, they have seam flats, but they also have mid-zone KO. I'm going to see if they even activate if, if, you, if they throw at them. Yo, we're screaming at him. I took off my zone drops, and suddenly my, my, my blitz is screaming 10 times harder. Explain yourself, EA. Third and 23, I assume he's going to go for a bomb again. Uh, I'm going to deep half the side that I think the bomb might be coming from. You got to be there, Ronnie. Again, screaming at his life. Ronnie, you're there. GG's. Did you guys notice that once I took off my zone drops, for some reason, my blitz just came in so much harder? Like, similar to how I came in your mom last night. Only slightly harder than that. That's how you end the game, though, man. All right, boys, since this game's over, I'm not going to waste time, like, at the end of the game. Like, I'm up 21 in the third quarter. We're going to move on to the next game. Shots be bricking. You know what else be bricking? You know what else is, uh, I might say he's bricked up? <laughs> My dick. Okay, right, I started on the offensive side of the ball again. And after last game, I kind of had an epiphany where I told you guys, I think the reason I start off a lot of games throwing interceptions is because I get skittish from the pass rush. I'm trying to, like, avoid a sack. So knowing that, right now, shots be bricking. If you blitz me, which it looks like you're going to, I will be ready. And if, if there's nothing open and my read isn't there, I will take a sack, all right? I'm sending five out, too. He's wide open. There we go. This guy, I think, is going to suck dick. If you start off the game with a cover zero blitz, um, I wasn't even a cover zero blitz. It was a cover one hole. If you start off the game in just straight man covered with no zones really behind it, I, I don't, man, your safeties are low right now. This means it's probably a cover zero. I'm just going to run this. I don't even know what the hell this play is. Don't do not do this if you're me. If, if you're not me, don't do this. I just guessed it was a cover zero. All right, that play had a lot of corners and posts on it, which are good, good for man coverage. So, touchdown, I guess. And you guys have heard me say it in the last few videos. I am going for two again. This is like, again, my biggest tip in Madden 22. Get good at two-point conversions. Not only on offense, on defense. Because, A, it's going to help you with this two-point thing I'm talking about. And, B, it's just going to help you when you're in the red zone. On scoring and on on uh, defending. This is probably man coverage. I'm guessing a blitz again. And we got him. Okay. Man coverage, both of those routes, the in route and 
the uh, or the in route from the running back and your slot receiver both beat man coverage. The scary part is uh, getting the time to throw it because that guy obviously blitzed right there. Almost didn't have the time, but we end up converting. So 8-0 to start the game. Huge, huge way to start the game. And already, if someone starts off 8-0 on you, that's a lot. That's a lot of pressure to overcome. And on top of that, we just cleaned his clock. 1-800 clock cleaners. You call us. We clean your clock. Also, this guy's coming out in Gun Bunch. Uh, I didn't set my audibles at all. Kind of a mistake on my end. But um, Gun Bunch is one of my favorite things to play defense against. Because I will say that... Oh, oh you're just trying to throw a streak. That would have been a pick. One of my favorite things to play defense against, and the reason is, if, if you're at the top of the game, you know, and you run gun bunch, and you got a really good gun bunch, I respect it. You're probably really good, and, and you're probably going to be tough to defend. If you're a wannabe MCS, you know, whatever you want to call it, I'm not really too worried about your gun bunch. I just feel like, oh, I... How did it make me run commit? Bro, I'm telling you, there's a glitch in the game. There's a glitch in the game that makes you run commit. I did not run commit. As I'm talking about bots, dude, I, I I look like a big bot right there. But I promise you guys, I did not run commit. When you make adjustments too fast, this happens to me like once a game. When you make adjustments too fast, it makes you run commit. I don't know why. Good bot. And just like that, it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Well, I just want to say, my guy's been showing that uh, he, he's just going to be running man coverage. Even on the goal line, he was running man coverage. I didn't check if he had one step ahead. Uh, but I'm going to check right now. But I'm going to run a man beater. Um, and he's not having any safety help. So, I'm assuming this is going to be a touchdown, I hope. Uh, he has no one step ahead. He's enforcer. All right, man. This... I don't know what this guy's doing. I'm going to block everybody. I'm running two double moves. One of them, just get open, okay? All right. Neither of them got open. What is the point of having a double move in the game? I, I got to be honest, guys. What is the point of having a double move in the game if it doesn't beat man coverage? That's the only reason the double move is good. Both of them got bagged. There's no there's no point. Now, I know how to beat man coverage pretty well, unless he's shaded over the top. So we'll find out right now. Oh, he's not in man anymore. Not in man coverage anymore. Still made a good read. Still got the first down. Uh, but that was a man beater I was running. He switched to a cover two. I'm going to guess he's going to go back to man. I don't, I don't think after getting dotted in a... You switch your play call one time, you get dotted. And look at that. He goes right back to man. I, I figured he would... I mean, it makes the most sense. I'm looking for this wheel route. I'm going to block. I'm going to do this. This is good right here. I like this route combo. Every route on the field right here beats man. It is man coverage. We got him. And if he shades over the top, that's going to get bagged. Um, this guy obviously not shading over the top. So another great touchdown. We, we, you know, we drop bombs. We fuck moms. It's just, it's just kind of what we do. So now I'm a little uneasy going for two here. I know this guy is probably blitzing me and I'm not going to have a lot of time here. We got time. If we get time, we're fine. But uh, if he blitzes, it gets instant pressure. Some of these routes are slower developing. So it's a little scary. I kind of took a chance there. Probably wasn't smart to do that. But again, we're up eight points again. And how about let's not run commit this time game. I kind of want to shade over the top, but I, I don't know if I need to. I, I know he wants to throw to Randy Moss. I'm gonna I'm just going to watch off the... Okay, I'm going to see if he gets beat. No, it looks like he wasn't beat. Oh, that was a risky throw. I, I wasn't even watching with my user. I was watching... Uh, Watching Randy there. I'm going to shade over the top just so I don't have to worry about it. Over the top, inside. Then I'm going to change to hard flat. Nope. Messed that up. You got to be there, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. You got mid zone KO. You got acrobat. Neither of them lit up right there. All right. We got our shit set up. We shade over the top. Throw it at me again. What yeah. is that? I don't know what the hell that was, but we got the pick. I'm just going to streak both guys. I'm, I'm going to max protect. I'm running, I'm running streak. Streak. In route. Because double moves apparently don't fucking work. I'm throwing it. I don't give a shit. That looks underthrown to me. Looks underthrown to me. Yep, it was. Hey, I tested it. It didn't work. But I tested it. At least I can say I tested it. And, and I'm going to be honest. If this is like a more competitive game, I would not do that. I, I don't know why I even did that. Because, because like, this is supposed to be an educational video, right? Got the whole right side of the field manned up. That man, means my user can be free to move wherever I want. <laughs> Great defense right there, man. They're going to give me a defensive pass interference on that. I'm, I'm still going to score it out of spite. But they're going to give me defensive pass interference on that, man. Just accept your penalty, bitch. All right? You didn't deserve it. I don't know why that's defensive pass interference when I get a beautiful interception. But the game must hate me.
All right, well, you know, I've been kind of shitting on this guy the whole time, but now we're, we're about to be tied up if he gets this two-point conversion. So I need to stop shitting on this guy and just respect him. He missed his extra point. What are we doing? So I saw two high safeties. Uh, I still was kind of banking on it being man coverage, but I had a deep post coming from the left, like a deep skinny post, and he ran a cover two, it looked like. I just made a quick read. Two high safeties, honestly, in my opinion, is, is a lot easier to beat than a cover three right now. Um, I feel like a cover three, anytime there's a middle third on the field, it, it, it becomes really hard to beat. So if you would have had a middle third there, that honestly probably would have been pretty good defense, but uh, he did not. And so we scored easily and he didn't go for two last time. So now we're up nine points, which is two possessions. Once again, I haven't really been running a big dime, which is what I normally would run against, you know, anything that's not a two tight end set. But this guy um, probably, probably will quit out if I start screaming at him. So let's just do that. That's got to be a pick, right? Yep. I think we make it to the outside and score here. And I'm telling you guys, I switched to Big Dime one time. Hey, disconnected. <laughs> Connection appears and been lost. All right, let's get into the next game. Final game. And perfect, man. For the final game, we get somebody in their Super Bowl. And so that means not only are they pretty good, because you got to have some level of skill to make a Super Bowl in the first place at the higher levels. So not only is this guy probably going to be pretty good, but he's going to be sweating his ass off because nobody wants to lose in their Super Bowl. But me, Mazomatic, killer of dreams, eater of souls. I will destroy him. <laughs> we're cleaning clocks early, man. Hey, we're cleaning clocks early, man. So the past two games I've showed you guys, I wasn't doing a good job of running Big Dime because normally I do, I do want to stay in Big Dime if they are not in two tight end personnel or two running back personnel. So... If I see he's in something with one or three wide receivers, essentially, then I'm going to be in dime until he makes me get out of it. So let's see. He's probably setting up his audibles right now. He's in bunch, so I'm going to be in dime. And hopefully we, we start screaming at him early. And I've told you guys already in this video, the seam flats, I love them. I'm expecting a run here. Nope, 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 nope. He is running clear out. And I don't think he knows that that doesn't really work against cover threes. He didn't even... He didn't even have a corner route. What, 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 I don't even know what that was. Like, he just put everybody on a streak. Like, what did he think was going to happen right there? Either way. Kind of scares me. I don't know if that's a, if, if he has a bomb out of that. He keeps quick hiking it. That was a pretty good dot. Nice little check down to the running back. And we might need to play hard flats right here. I think on third and four, I am going to play hard flats. And so what I do a lot of times is I switch. When I shade underneath with my defense, watch their seam flats right now. Shade underneath, they go to hard flats. And he keeps freaking... That's me. Came down with the safety. So he, he probably thought... Um, he quick hiked me. I did not want to be on the safety. I did not want to be the safety. I was trying to bring down the safety uh, to just have him more in the action. And so he's not so far back. And I came down and he probably thought I was going to stay down. But then I just looped back up, came underneath that post, and obviously got an interception. So that was a great way to start the game. I'm sure the pressure probably was making him a little nervous as well. And he made a bad read. Just start. And now let's make him pay. Let's let's suffocate him like a BBW with those thick thighs, okay? Let's start with a dot here. I'm going to motion over this post. Turn it into a corner. If I have time, four, three, two, one. Oh, shoot. I got to hike it. We blocked him. We end up just blocking the corner out. That's not what I wanted to do, but hey. I set my audibles. <laughs> we end up getting six yards out of it. So that's okay. So my opponent's running 3-3-5 three, three, wide. He was in cover three the last time. He's got inside stuff. On the outside, he's got speedster and edge threat. Okay, so the edge threat is the one I'm more worried about here. Edge threat can give you a lot of problems. He, he just zoned out his edge threat. And I'm going to throw that away. I could have thrown a circle, but it was a little risky with the drag coming underneath. Um, he zoned out his edge threat. So he ran man coverage that time. Now he's in 2-4-5 odd. This guy's switching it up a lot. I'm not sure what to expect. I'm not sure what to expect right here. That was actually a, a stock tight end delay flat, but we know how delays are in this game right now. Auto release. So I didn't normally I'd put my tight end on an out route or a flat, but the, the delay is like a little glitchy. It's a little glitchy. Now we're inside the 14, inside the 15. First reason to be the wheel right now. It's wide open. That's a touchdown. Going for two, baby. I'm going for two. We're gonna suffocate. On our BBW shit. We got it. 
And we got it. A lot of pressure on him right now in his Super Bowl. There's a lot of pressure on you, Nuss Bum. Nuss Bum 2383. And just like that, after the first drive, obviously, he wanted to play in bunch. I wanted to play in dime. He didn't like that. So now he's in single back wing pair. And I've told you guys before, single back wing pair is literally the ultimate bot formation. But that's what makes it so good. There's something about single back wing pair that scares the shit out of me, okay? All right? Like that. Like, what is that? That only happens in single back wing pair, man. All right, so he's under center still. Um, obviously, I'm not going to fault this guy for playing like this. It's a Super Bowl. He wants to win. Um, and obviously, he doesn't want to go against Dime. I've been getting gashed. This is the third play in a row. 34 yards. 10 yards each. 11 yards each. I need to get out of this. So we're going to get in wide. I'm going to get in my run defense, set it up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to audible from 245 two, odd to 335 wide. Oh, now he's in single back bunch. This is only one tight end. I could run dime on this. I'm going to do that. See, again, that's why it's important to look at the personnel because you can only get weak box if they if they have a much heavier personnel than you. So once I bring down the safety, the run defense right now actually isn't that bad. And he is passing it. That was not a good read, my guy. I'm sorry to ruin your Super Bowl right now. I told you I was going to eat your soul. And your soul tastes delicious. All right, the goal here, again, already up 8-0. We got to get at least three on this drive. That's behind him. Holy shit. If he had Acrobat and that wasn't a linebacker, he might have played that. That throw is just behind him, though. I felt like that was open. I lowballed it. And Darren Waller definitely had to slow down. So that was a little scary. So we're going to throw that pass again. We're, we're going to throw something else here. We're actually going to throw Waller. I want to throw Waller right here. Let's see if he blitzes me. It might make it hard to, to roll out here. Yeah, he's blitzing a little bit. Holy shit. Yep. Yeah. I had Waller, just didn't have the time. That's okay, though. I didn't throw a bad read. I, you know, we're making progress, because I told you guys, when I make these horrible reads, a lot of times, because I'm trying to, like, avoid a sack, I get so afraid of the sack, pause, that I just throw something blind. But, hey, that time we took a sack like a man, I'm happy about it. I don't know if he's blitzing again. He did blitz, but we picked it up. We blocked our running back. We picked it up. And we, we waited on our tight end. It was a beautiful dot. Five for six right now, man. We're playing pretty good on offense and defense, honestly. And, and let's just score this touchdown. I think this guy probably won't quit out, but he, he's in a bad spot. He's in a really, really bad spot right now. I'm guessing man coverage here. I don't really have any man beaters on the field. We're in zone. We are going for two again. If we get this, I think, I think this guy's hopes of winning this game are over. Because I'm getting ball half, too. Don't forget that. He blitzed me. He blitzed me. He blitzed me. And we blocked our tight end. So, 16-0, man. I'm sorry, Nussbaum. There's no way he threw that, bro. GG's, man. I mean, yeah, you got to quit out at this point. I, I hyped you up, bro. I thought it was going to be good because it was your Super Bowl. <sighs> GG's, Nussbaum. GG's, man. All right, we're going to do one more. I feel like that last guy just was not, I mean, it was just not a good game at all. So, I don't know how much you guys took from that. We're playing binary rhyme. Okay, binary means zeros and ones. How can you rhyme in binary? You can't. I'm going to just skip to the next game, unless this is a good game. I'm going to keep recording, but if I just skip to the next game, this guy's a bot. He, he took zero audibles, called wing slot to start the game. Oh, he's a glitcher. He's a glitcher. We can deal with glitchers. You got two quarterback system. He has Mariota and... Okay. You got Mariota and Michael Vick. So he's only going to be running with his quarterback. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ran into anybody like this online. But this is could be potentially frustrating. He's running to the same side every time. I had a QB spy. Still got outran. That's crazy. Okay. The the trick to this is, uh, is blitzing more guys. Because the reason they like this is a lot of times... You just can't, they just, okay. You can't set the edge, but I just set the edge that time. Hit stick to him with Ronnie Lott, doesn't matter, I guess. But this is this is going to start getting frustrating here. I know what to do, okay? I'm going to get my linebackers out there. He wants to run it to this side over here. He wants to run it to the right here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. See? I know what to do. This guy has one play. RPO power alert glance. He tried to run to the other side, and he outran... Ramsey, what? He just, I got a guy over there. Ramsey just literally got outran. Jalen Ramsey is like 93 speed. It's a little, little, little annoying, but whatever, bro. Let's make sure Ramsey's really out there this time. Take it up the middle. Yeah, you can try to take it up the middle. That's crazy.
crazy. That's crazy. Outrun everybody. Just outrun everybody, I guess. Binary rhyme, you're a son of a bitch. I'll tell you that much. We're there, right? Let's go, man. All right. And when I go for two, I'm going to get it. So fuck this guy. And he's onside kicking, bro. Can you imagine like playing like this? Can you just imagine like on a, it's a Monday. It's a Monday afternoon slash evening. This is what you want to do on your Monday afternoon. Binary rhyme. Run the same play and just run onside kicks. Looks like a cover three, but it also looks like he's me blitzing really heavily right here. Um, so I'm max protecting just on play one. Only send three. Yay. I love that when I guess wrong, but we got a dot for that. Or not. Still in a cover three. Still in a cover three. And if you stay in a cover three, I'm going to keep running this play till you get out of a cover three. So, I don't know if I would keep running cover three if I were you, buddy. I don't know if I'd keep running cover three if I were you, buddy. Because that was pretty easy to score, buddy. There's no way he's getting out there, bro. Jesus, he's trying to clock me too. All right, we got we got to figure this out. This is this is starting to get really annoying. I know it was already annoying from the start, but it's getting real fucking annoying now, boy. We cannot figure out how to stop it. Like how up the middle, outside doesn't matter. He's he's getting yards. This is crazy, and he's and he's chewing clock too, which is even crazier. I can't get anything set up either. He threw that. Oh my god. All right. Good job, buddy. Good job throwing that, right? Quick hike me. Why don't you quick hike me harder, daddy? Quick hike me harder, daddy! You know, you understand that's a safety right there. That's what I am confused about. That is a safety right there. Option defense on conservative. I'm just, I feel like we have them. It's just like... That's fine. That's fine. Third down. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Third down. You want to settle for three, buddy? You want to settle for three? I want you to settle for three. I want you to sell for three. I just got to get on my user. If I get on my user, we're good. I just got to follow whatever way he runs. Okay? I'm on my user. We're good. I'm going to follow whatever way he runs. And we See that? Yeah, we're there. And I'm going to call my timeout. You're showboating. You think you're so cool because you got one play. It's pretty good play. It's pretty good play. But, but I think you're a total bot. All right. Ronnie. No. No. You know how much that hurts, boys? You know how much that hurts? That we just can't open field tackle on this man, Michael Vick. Coming out of half, I'm not too worried, though. Coming out of half, I'm not really all that worried. I got to just be... I got to make sure I get on my user. And we'll be okay. I got to get make sure I'm on lot. I don't know if I can stop him for one yard, but I can definitely stop him for less than, like, five. Nice. Ronnie Lott with a hit stick just... Shug him off, Cordero. This guy's horrible, man. He's very, very bad. Very bad. All right, I'm gonna, I, I don't know if I need to go for two here. Let me see. What, where, where are we at? We're at 14. 14, 14. Do I keep my one-point lead? I think I go for two again. I think I go for two again because frick this guy. Right, guys? Right, let's see what he's running here. It doesn't matter what he's running because I'm better than you, binary rhyme. That's crazy to me that uh, I try to switch my defense. It's like the outside guys run so hard at the running back. They don't even notice the quarterback, which makes it really hard to contain it because... Let me see if I do like a bench blitz right here. Baseline press. I'm going to blitz Ramsey. No. See, like he, he's running... My, my, my blitzer on the outside runs at the running back. So I need to get Nelson all the way. I got to get on. Bro. No way Ronnie Lott's getting outran. He's 97 speed. Like, you see guys what I'm saying? 97 speed Lot Totally gets outran to the edge. Ronnie Lott is not 97 speed. He's not. And I just can't get my guys moved fast enough. There we go. All right. Dude. Oh, my God. They just crashed so hard in. 
they crash so hard in at the running back they don't even like ever notice the quarterback and i'm on conservative maybe got to turn back to aggressive let's try aggressive maybe like it's just backwards because conservative is supposed to follow the qb but this is an rpo so in this case conservative might like dude see how he's just getting like this guy's celebrating bro i, I honestly don't know what to do to stop this play um but our offense is obviously keeping us in this game if we can stop him here on the two point i think we're just we're just improving our advantage more and more so like we are not like i'm moving him out and everything they're coming in at the running back maybe i just gotta change the standard but i don't know what to do to make them not i don't know what to do to make them not follow the running back they're even when i was on conservative as you guys saw it was the same thing and he got an onside kick i freaking hate this game Holy cow, he got an onside kick. Great. This is fun. This is fun. I'm having fun. I'm going to stay out here. How about that? Dude, see? It's like... And he's celebrating. I hate this guy so much. He's up right now by six. So if he gets a field goal, he's going to be two possessions, man. Oh, buddy. All right, let's go to conservative again. I don't think aggressive is it. That's probably making it worse. Hey! Hey, it worked. Okay. All right. We might have something. We might have something. It was the same as before. I'm just not going to worry about Ramsey. If he wants to run left, I'll be there with my user. Let's see. Nope. No. He just messed up then that time. It looks like. God, dude. I got to be better with my user. I got to be like on, like just follow him. I got to be better with the user. There we go, man. Hey, fourth down and long. Gonna have to kick his three, go up two possessions, but we're in this game. We've shown we can get a stop. I gotta go down and score. My offense hasn't been stopped or even close to it. He just got an onside kick. So we go down, score quickly. I think we can get a stop. I feel good about the defense we're running right now. And then we're gonna win this game. My God, dude. He's just not getting out of cover three, bro. I've been like dotting the shit out of this so over and over and over again. He just does not. He refuses to get out of it. All right, man. Hey, we scored fast. That's what we needed to do. Um, let me see what the, the score is looking like. If I need to go for two or not. No, I do not go for two here. Um, we're only going to be down by two. Only going to be down by two. So if I get another stop, I just need a field goal. That's totally doable. We just need to get the stop. This has been very tough to get a stop on this guy. All right. Moving this guy out. Getting on lot. All right. Let's do it. I got to be better with my user. I'm watching I'm watching Vic with my user. Vic is mine. He runs the ball. Okay. That's not good, actually. He got five yards on that. We don't like that. I got to be better with my user. If he runs the ball, I got to be there. See, that's the hard part. I got to I got to shoot the gap with my user. All right, third down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Third down. Nelson, you're all the way out there. I'm back on lot. He ran up the middle, dude. Oh, my God. How does he get the... <laughs> I don't understand how to stop this shit. I'm going to be honest. This is so crazy to me. He's going to run it with his, with his running back, I think. There we go. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. First time out. Let's go. We need to get a stop on this set of downs or the game's over. Go, baby. Big third down. Big third down right now. Big third down. Let's be better. Let's be better. Third and nine. We can do this. Do we Do we think he punts if he doesn't get it? No. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Warren Sapp. And guess what else? You're out of bounds, kid. Fourth and 14. You're going to run your little RPO glitch here. All right. He's not out of bounds. I'm going to call this last time out. That was huge, Warren. That was huge, baby. I took a long time to call this. I'm going to assume that he is passing here. Nope. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. And we're in field goal range. Hey, binary rhyme. First thing I want to say to you, man, is just make sure that when you're sucking my dick, you don't neglect the balls because I, I like ball play. It helps me come. So just, just remember that. Um, also remember, I like it when you suck my cock and balls from the back. That's my favorite actually, but hey, GG's buddy.
Because when I kick this field goal, it's going to feel so good. Now, the question is going to be, do I pass it? I think I do. I think I do. Because that's a, that's a first down. That's why we pass. That's why we pass. Now he's going off sides. Now he's going off sides, baby. I don't know why. I, I didn't expect anything less from binary rhyme. But he tried. He failed. You failed, buddy. Now I'm on the outside.